Hey, welcome to Lecture Your Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. Today I wanted to share my experience with the Graph customer service and resizing my ring. And I'm going to have to eat my words in a previous video because this is what true luxury is. Before we get into it, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Joanne and every week I upload videos about luxury handbags and other luxury lifestyle products like jewelry and rings. So if you like this kind of content, please make sure to like this video and subscribe below. And make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because I am doing a giveaway. A couple months ago, I uploaded a video saying that true luxury was dead. And I'll link that video below, but basically I mentioned that a lot of these luxury lifestyle brands like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and even Hermes was kind of losing their true luxury essence because they were going public, they were beholden to shareholders and really chasing that money instead of offering a real true luxury experience for loyal customers. Now in that video, I focused more on handbag brands and luxury brands that had a variety of products and completely forgot about Graph. But with my recent experience with Graph, I totally have to take back that video now because I do believe that Graph is one of maybe a handful of luxury brands that offer a true luxury experience. Now, let me tell you why. First of all, every time I visited has been so wonderful. I also have a video talking about my engagement ring experience and how I went to a graph in a Saks Fifth Avenue and the very first visit I was just looking at the kind of options I had no intention of buying because generally you don't go into a store, spot a diamond ring and immediately buy it that first time. Usually it takes a little bit longer. It's a very big purchase. You might wanna sleep on it or go visit other stores and brands to see what other options are available. So I definitely made it clear in my first graph visit that this was just an exploratory shopping trip and I was treated with so much respect and the sales associate was so kind. On my way out, he offered me a graph wine from their own vineyard just because he wanted to gift us a little something and he didn't expect anything in return or expect us to buy with him or anything. The next time I visited, I found out that that sales associate had moved on, had been promoted to, I think, another store in Las Vegas. So I worked with a different sales associate who was equally as nice and accommodating. She showed me several rings, pulled up all the information that I wanted. And then this continued until we actually purchased the ring and my now husband actually proposed to me in the graph store. Now, fast forward, it's been three years since he proposed and my ring started to feel a little bit tighter. So I had been wanting to get it resized. I've now moved to a different city, but thankfully they also had a graph location within Saks Fifth Avenue. So when I visited this store, I asked the sales associate what was the process for resizing the ring, if it cost any money, because last December I actually asked the graph in Singapore how, what was the process to resize my ring, and that sales associate said that it would take like six months to send it to the location where they were going to do the resizing, and it also cost like $600. So that's what I thought it would take, but when I asked the sales associate in Texas, she said that the process would only take around three weeks and it would be free of charge. So they would send the ring to New York where they have a workshop to resize the ring and then send it back to Texas. So I was very pleasantly surprised that it would be no charge and also be so quick. After that inquiry, I came back the next day and brought my ring. And again, I worked with that associate to figure out what I wanted my new size to be. So she measured my existing size and found out it was a size four, which my husband and I had already completely forgotten. We were trying to figure out, you know, should I go up to five or is that too large? And she pulled out all these other rings for me to try on with these other different band sizes to make sure I was comfortable with the one that I wanted. She also explained that the sizing is in increments of a quarter size. So that means she could make it four and a quarter, four and a half, 4.75, a size five, and so on and so forth. She also explained that once the ring came back, resized and everything, if it felt a little bit too large, 
she would still be able to add some sizing adjustments locally, such as uh, two beads on the inner circle. So I was comfortable making that decision. She wrote down all the specs of the ring and got my husband's information because it was under his account. She was able to look us up in the system, had me say goodbye to my ring, and she had it sent to New York. She explained that the ring would basically be sized from the inside. Basically, they would shave off the material on the inner side of the ring, which I thought was the right thing to do because for my band, I do have diamonds on the outside, so I wouldn't want them to mess that up and that would be a lot more work if they had to like readjust the curvature of each of these holes for the diamonds. So they shaved off the material inside here and then once they made it the new size, then they repolished everything. So right now it's super shiny. I just got this back two days ago. And she also asked if I would like a free engraving on the inside of the band. Um, I didn't know that this was an option before. I think maybe the sales associate previously had mentioned it, but it really wasn't on my mind. So I didn't think of engraving the ring when we first bought it, but it was wonderful that this sales associate offered this up again and reminded us that Graf could engrave the ring for free. So she was like, do you wanna have a date? Like maybe our anniversary date or our initials. So I did choose our initials. I was also able to choose the font, like whether I wanted it to be cursive or not. And basically, I don't think the camera on the iPhone is going to pick up any of the letters inside. But once they resize the ring, then they engraft first on the left the word graph. So it's in the graph font. And then it has our initials J and J. And then on the right side of the band, it actually has the specs of the ring. So it has the carat size. It uh, has the clarity and I think it has like this particular skew, but there's like a bunch of little numbers on it. So our engraving, which is a cursive J and ampersand and another cursive J are hand engraved. You know, the J's aren't exactly matching, which is a detail that I love. It means that, you know, someone took the time and care to actually hand engrave this and then they polished it all back up. So you can't even tell. And I can also tell that they didn't touch anything from the top of the band. So it's just fitting a little bit better now. I did feel that when I first tried it on, it was a little bit loose, but I told my sales associate that I wanted to wear it a couple of days, you know, just see how it fits, see if I felt comfortable with it on at this size. And if it still felt too loose after a couple days or a week, then she could add those additional adjustments for me, either the two um, sizing beads at the bottom end of the band, so like one on each side. And she said that those beads is also helpful when you have a very heavy top center stone so that it helps the ring stay centered and not like flop around on your finger. Or she said that I could add a little um, arch at the bottom of the ring as well to also make the fit a little bit more snug. But right now, as it is getting much hotter in Texas and you know my fingers are swelling, it doesn't, it feels pretty safe. It feels like it's not going to fall off my finger. So a little bit about the timing. My sales associate did say that the sizing should take around three weeks. She says oftentimes it does take much quicker. If the workshop in New York doesn't have a lot of work, then the ring could even come back within one week. Mine did take almost the full three weeks, but again, I was not worried about it at all. The sales associate stayed in contact with us, let us know that the ring was coming back in. I could come in the next day and pick it up. And she made me feel very comfortable throughout the entire process and that they would take care of my ring ring very well. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about is my experience when I went to pick up this ring. Again, that was the most amazing experience. I walked in and the first thing that happened was a different sales associate asked me if I wanted anything to drink. I'm sure I could have requested champagne, but I did just ask for some sparkling water. So she brought it out on a tray and then went to make sure that my sales associate was coming out with my ring. Not only did my sales associate bring back my beautifully polished ring, in this new size she also offered to give me a little gift so she prepared this for me and i was again pleasantly surprised 
So this is a jewelry care system. I haven't opened this yet, so let's do that together. This is a little booklet. It says find jewelry cleaner. Immerse jewelry in cleanser for two minutes as needed between professional cleanings. Rinse in warm water and blot dry. Finish with a microfiber cloth for a professional shine. Safe for daily use. Fine jewelry should be inspected annually by a sales associate at Graph. Okay, so that's good to know that I should bring my ring by every year to make sure, you know, the diamonds aren't coming loose or maybe they would polish it if it's becoming too scratched up. It also has instructions for the professional microfiber cleaning cloth. I know that before I sent my ring in, my ring was incredibly dirty. I had sunscreen all over it, lotion, soap buildup. I just haven't had time to like clean it in a while. So I'm very glad that they cleaned it for me. Of course, I can go in any time and they will clean the ring for me at no cost. So this is the microfiber cloth that they provided. It's quite large. Feels pretty soft, but also pretty stiff. So it's substantial, you know, it's not like very thin. And then this is the fine jewelry cleaner. It's sealed. I think I would pour it out into like another container and then have the ring soak in there so I wouldn't use the whole thing all at once. And then this also popped out, which is a little brush so you can get all that grime and oil out. So again, this was just very unexpected and reminded me that they are all about customer service. They are all about providing a luxurious experience. I didn't ask for this or the wine, but they were happy to provide both. And again, every single visit I've had to any graph, working with any sales associate, they're not snobby. They are always willing to help. I didn't spend any money with this sales associate, guys. Like the ring sizing was for free and she still gifted me this item. And I actually asked her where I could buy that graph wine because I love it so much. She actually told me a place to buy it locally. And she said they have one distributor in the US. So I'm actually really happy to know that I can buy it myself. It comes from a vineyard in South Africa next to one of their mines. So I just wanted to let everyone know that Graph is a true luxury brand. I recommend them to anybody. If anyone is ever thinking about purchasing from them, do it. You won't regret it. They have definitely impressed myself and my husband so much that you know, my husband immediately feels the difference between the Hermes experience and the Graf experience. You know, he says that every time we walk into Graf, he feels like a VIP client. Even though we only bought this one item from them and have visited stores and talked to sales associate probably closer to 10 times. Whereas when you walk into Hermes, you feel like you have to beg for a bag or products and they're snobby. That it's just a very big difference in customer experience. And Graph is the kind of company that is going to have that very loyal customer base because of the way they treat their customers. Now let's get into the giveaway portion of this video. I know many of you watch me because you are jewelry fans and you watch my jewelry collection videos. So I wanted to do this little giveaway for my jewelry fans. We actually just passed my two year anniversary on this channel and I also just crossed the 2000 subscriber mark. So just doing a little celebration right now. I hope I'm able to do a lot more giveaways in the future. So this giveaway is going to be around two jewelry containers. This is the first container and it's just a little jewelry box. It comes in this very soft fuzzy material and then once you open it there's just some compartments there, places for rings, um, necklaces or earrings right here and then 
Along with this container, I'm also giving away this little travel pouch. So I showed this is how I store some of my rings and jewelry pieces. It is just a very cute, compact little carrier. So you can throw a ring in there, um, maybe some earrings or necklaces on top. So if you want to be entered to win these two prizes, please just leave a comment below in this video. Any kind of comment is fine. If you want to just write, please enter me, or if you want to write, you know, about your experience at other jewelry brands, I would love to hear. Include a way for me to contact you, whether that be an email or your Instagram. If it is your Instagram, just type out your handle. Don't add the at sign in front of it because I don't want your comment to be deleted. And I'm going to open this giveaway for three weeks. So I'll have all of the details in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.